This was the guy that was just cruising in. This ball is over here. It's good. What's going on everybody? Back on the Tubi. Sweet car. I like it. Oh, it feels good to be back out at the beach, everybody. I love it. Yes, this is good. Pier 60, what's happening everybody? You get a good shot of that boy. We're, we're going to do things a little bit different from now on because um, throughout my break, my 19 break, um, I really was thinking about it and I was doing a little research on the Tubi, of course. Why not? Because I'm a professional. <laughs> not really, but you know. Um, so basically, I figured out that Okay, the way I was shooting videos before, I'm not giving all my fans. <laughs> I just love saying that because it's so stupid. Um, I'm not giving my fans enough, you know, not enough, not enough reasons to, to do the clicky, you know? Because um, I'm a stand-up comedian. No one, no one cares what I have to say. So... From here on out, I'm going to throw a little structure into these things. So, for today, I'm going to the Frenchies boy. I'm going to try... Um, I'm going to try the grouper sandwiches at most of these bars around here in Clearwater. And I'm going to review them. And that, that's going to be part of my structure here. And then I think I'll move it over into Tampa well, maybe I'll leave that a, a secret. <laughs> you know, I don't want don't want anyone stealing my ideas. <laughs> they're, so, they're so stupid. That's so stupid. They're such a they're really simple ideas. Let's just go around Clearwater and try the grouper sandwiches. <laughs> but it's mine. It's my idea. No one can steal it. <laughs> I'm gonna try that Hooter someday. I've never even been in there. That'd be good. But I'm not gonna turn it into full Tim Tracker, everybody. I'm just gonna throw in a little bit of structure here and there. I'll still be my normal self that talks about nothing at all. Because, you know, that's what I do. I talk about nothing. <laughs> Oh, we got a street performer here, Jack Sparrow. I can't sit there and stare at him or else I'll have to give him a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting there, everybody. About 50 yards now, I think. I'm kind of nervous about this. Well, for one, I've never even been to a, a restaurant by myself in my life. <laughs> I literally haven't. I mean, oh, well, not a sit-down restaurant where they bring you a bill. I think I'm gonna sit at the bar, but I don't know. And, um, well, I've never vlogged in a restaurant by myself inherently, so. Uh, we're doing some new stuff today, everybody, but that's good, getting out of our comfort zone. If you stayed there, you'd end up being 50 years old, doing nothing. <laughs> Be boring.
super grouper sandwich. That's what I got. Six ounce fry. I'm excited for it. Um, I've tried both the hot sauces, and this one I prefer a lot more. Um, this one right here really just kind of tastes like buffalo sauce. But this one is smoky and it's a little bit hotter, I think, too. Yeah. This, this outdoor seating is sweet. I wish I would have sat out here and had my toes in the sand while I was eating my grouper sandwich. I was sitting down there at the end of that bar near the near the entrance. Nice folks sitting next to me. We got a gloomy night at the Clearwater Beach, everybody. Just got done with my Frenchies. Feeling good. Man, the, the amount of anxiety I was having to do that versus how easy it was to do is like it's just like everything really i mean it's all just in your head <laughs> oh come on skimboard come on buddy you got this hit it hit it oh those guys aren't pros they're like me when i'm vlogging people people see me walking around with this thing and, uh, oh that guy's a vlogger he's <laughs> Nope, uh, I'm not. I wa I'm a wannabe. <laughs> oh, bang in there. Was that a cat? Bringing the cat out to the beach. I didn't get it on film, that is, but someone's carrying their cat out to the beach. Yeah, I'll, I think I'll get a sneak peek of it. She's thinking, what in the world? <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> Cats are funny. You know, those skimboarders, they're looking at those big stuff. You can literally skimboard on like stuff like that, where it's just like a little tiny, tiny, tiny puddle. I actually don't know that for a fact because anytime that I skimboard I bust my behind and tear up my shins and my knees <laughs> bad I'm, I'm a terrible skimboarder I don't see any way of skimboarding where you don't hurt yourself that's been my go of it well that grouper sandwich was pretty good I'd say that's gonna be my baseline for all my other grouper sandwiches that I try around here. So, I will give that a solid B. So there's room to improve, and it's a little bit above average. Frenchies is, that restaurant I think is one of the most popular restaurants here in Clearwater. Frenchies on the water. So I figured that, that would be a good spot for number one. Number two, I think we'll be right across the parking lot from that. And I'll make another video on that here soon because doing that was so easy. My God, I'll do it all the dang time. I'll come out here twice a week and get myself these grouper sandwiches. How many times are you gonna say grouper sandwich in one video? <laughs> 
Well, I am. I am telling the YouTube algorithm, grouper sandwich, grouper sandwich, grouper sandwich. <laughs> grouper sandwich rankings. There's that pirate ship out there. That thing's a staple of the Clearwater. You don't come to Clearwater unless you see that pirate, pirate boy. Vlogging at that um, thing reminded me um, of, well, I'm stupid for it to not remind you of it. It's literally the same thing. But it reminded me of when I was vlogging at the Ogus Cantina. And when I left there, I was thinking, you need new equipment. You need new equipment, Jacob. <laughs> but you know what the truth of the matter is? You really just need to be a better vlogger. <laughs> and then you can get new equipment. But until then, I would hate to be the guy with 40 subscribers and like a thousand dollar camera. <laughs> I feel so stupid if I... But then again, it's like, you know, dress for success. Or look at this guy getting it. What a beast. He's feeling his fantasy. I love it. I dance like that too, but when I'm by myself, I don't have the, uh, I don't have the cojones to do that out in public, unless I'm really drunk at a wedding, because then I'll let it loose. I'll cut a rug. It's a beautiful area right here, walking up to this thing. I always like this spot. Not a good spot to be at the beach for the day, in my opinion, no. Just a good walking area. But then again, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a crowds guy. I'm more of a, um, I like a secluded beach. This was really fun. I'm serious. I had a lot of fun doing this. I'm going to start doing this more often. These things are cool. I'm not sure exactly what they are. They look like something you get at Disney, though. What is going on over here? She is spinning those things. I've been on a real um, Game of Thrones kick lately. I'm getting ready for the House of Dragon. Oh man, I just love that thing. I just, I, th I think this is my third time rewatching it. And man, it's better than ever. But the thing I keep thinking is, um, you know, the real tragedy of See, maybe I'll try that place someday. Jammin's Beach Bar, that looks pretty good. 
Um, the real tragedy that of Game of Thrones is the fact that when you're watching it, you know how it's going to end. And I don't mean in terms of the storylines of the people. Well, kind of. But you think... Good evening. Thank you. You too. Um, you just think... This show is going to end so bad. <laughs> you know, like season eight or whatever. You know, the last seasons. It's nuts. It just like, it started so good. And the last two seasons or whatever were so bad. <laughs> it's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh yeah, we're moving. We're grooving. We're going to the Frenchie boy. When I'm watching, um, you know, like season one and season two, or only season one for this statement, I just keep thinking, Ned, go home. Go home. <laughs> like literally just go home, you idiot. Just go home. You're down there in the south and all these people are better liars than you and like, oh, like, our whole being a good liar is like being admirable. It's like, you are not in your own element, buddy. These people, they are just running circles around you. And he had so many opportunities just to go home, dude. <laughs> but, you know, he's an honorable man. It's a little bit further down to get to the Frenchies, as I remembered. One more Game of Thrones thought for anyone that's still here. <laughs> Because I can guarantee you that if you're still here, then thank you. Because, my God, <laughs> this, this video is literally a... But anyways, like I was saying, one more Game of Thrones thought. You know what I think is so funny? You know, you, know, you go around Westeros, and if you are like just like a common person, you're, you're not royalty or anything, you still, like fly the colors of certain houses. You know what that reminds me of? It's it's like um, the way that you go around different parts of the country and like certain like people will have um, college football teams or just colleges in general really. Like go to Iowa and see how many University of Iowa sweatshirts you see walking around the mall. Go to Tennessee See how much orange you see. It's just hilarious. Hello. Nice folks. <laughs> 